Hi again, it's Ruth. I'm here to talk to you about 3D design. So designers often go back and forth between drawing with their hands in 2D, two dimensions, and drawing on the computer in two dimensions, and trying out those two-dimensional drawings in three dimensions either with physical models that you can make at home with whatever you have or with a digital model. So the main key when you start to put down your ideas of your concept and your program, putting those things all together into one space is to remember that it's you're just trying it out. Design is about trying things out. It's not about making something perfect the first time. So you'll you'll try out different ideas within your 3D model. And if you like it, great. If you think that maybe you don't want to use something, take it out. Think about the size of the spaces for the types of activities that you want to use in each space. Doing this in three dimensions is very helpful because you can actually put yourself inside of the model and see how big a space is or how small a space is and what that feels like. If you want to have a quiet reading corner, then make the space small. You can add in objects like rain gardens to surround the space so that people are going to have are going to have some distance from other activities like sports, for example. You'll use a simple model of just the area of your school shed that your teachers wanted you to focus on for your design. When you click on the link in your assignment, it will bring you to the base Tinkercad model. Click Copy and Tinker to make your own copy of the site model. First, locate yourself in the space. Can you recognize where you are? The model is very basic so that you have lots of flexibility to design the space. Now start to get familiar with moving around your 3D model. Right click and move your mouse around to move your model around and see it from different views. You'll notice that if you left click, you can't move the base model anymore. That's because it's locked, so you won't accidentally move or erase it. Start adding objects from the basic shapes library. Left click on the object, drag it into your model, and let go to drop wherever you want it. You can move it around or change its properties once it's in your workspace. You can move it vertically with the black arrow, you can make it bigger or smaller by holding shift and moving the white boxes on its sides. You can change its shape by adjusting the white box without pressing shift. You can add parts from the parts collection library. Or you can try sketching in 2D and making it 3D. Finish up by selecting some nice views of your space. You might want to choose a bird's eye perspective where you can see the entire design and then a few closer views that show what it's like inside of the space. Click in the right corner, send to, and select to download so that you can save these views to insert into your own assignment here. You may also want to use those views for future assignments. So try to save them somewhere that you can access in the coming weeks. Good luck.